It's happy hour in the Hive Mind studio, and we're going to 14 bars. Welcome back to Hive Mind Unlimited. If you didn't see the first episode of this, we've been asking you guys to send DJ Grant your best bars, your best one-liners. Today we're going to go through a few of those and rank them on a scale of 1 to 10. It's rhyme time. It doesn't have to rhyme, it can be prose. It's time to rhyme, and if it doesn't, it won't make sense to me. Before we get into it, as always, our Patreon and Cameo are linked down there if you want to support us. We also have a new merch drop with Copes and some merch on our website. Everything's linked in the description, but let's get into what you guys sent us. First bar from Nathan Sutton. Oh, a legend in the chat. Yep. This is is a hive mind chat veteran. A regular at the bar. Stole my brother's drugs, now I'm guilt tripping. Psychedelic drugs. Yeah, so you're tripping on drugs, and then you're also, you feel guilty because you stole them from your brother. Yeah. Not enough entendres here. It's no. really just a one for one thing. I'm gonna give this a straight four out of 10. Yeah, I'm gonna go even a little lower. I'm gonna go with a zero. Um, this is just like maybe right. in the context right. of like an amazing narrative or something. It's like one of those bars you'd wrap along to, but in terms of something I'm going to take home to my mother, no. I wouldn't take it home to my mom either. She wouldn't get it. Oh, my mom would. I know. To submit this to a channel as distinguished when it comes to bars or puns or one-liners. Right. I mean, I'm sitting next to Jesus Christ himself. <laughs> Wordplay Johnson. Wordplay Johnson himself Thank here. You. It's like going to American Idol and singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Uh -huh. What do you think Randy's going to say? It ain't it for me, dog. <laughs> next we got from Aqua Buddha. A Brown got canceled and Cleveland's losing leads. Hit Deshaun with the Drake, because that's what Watson needs. So is this Drake Watson needs? Oh. I think that's where you're going with it, is that it's a Drake Watson needs bar. But is the entire bar just a setup for that one payoff punchline? Yeah, I guess that would have gone right over my head, Drake Watson needs. But, I mean, you're going at the Browns here. Deshaun is canceled, though. Irredeemable guy, really. Yeah. Can't root for him publicly. <laughs> that's something you keep in your own house. You're threatening violence, not something I'm usually a fan of in lyricism. Really? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. This, in, this feels like a lot of work for very little payoff. I can definitely appreciate the idea that you thought of the Watson needs part, and then you were like, now let me see if I can build an entire narrative to just lead to that one thing. Yeah. I do that often, yeah. and so I understand going the extra mile just to get to one little punchline, mm -hmm. but at the same time, because it's only one punchline, and I don't even think it's going to hit, like, Watson needs is not the most popular Drake song. No, it's a deep cut. It's kind, kind of. of like a little bit of a deep cut. I'm pretty sure it went number one, but it's just like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go with like a solid, I'm a solid one. I'll give this also a four. Okay. I'm going to be pretty harsh today, as you can, I can tell. tell. Yeah. It's okay. going to be hard to get above a two for me. <laughs> All right, Aqua Buddha, thank you. Thank you, Aqua Buddha. Next, from Carter. I never back a rat. I'm going all in like casino. Put a hole in his back. Now he a dolphin like Marino. Fire. Another back a rat. So back a rat. Yeah. Back a rat, back a rat. Put a hole in his back. Now he a dolphin like Marino. Like the blowhole. Like the blowhole of a dolphin. Yeah. And then the Miami Dolphins superstar quarterback and friend of the show, Dan Marino. <laughs> Correct. This is a little bit like a teacher's pet sort of like kiss ass sort of thing. Like <laughs> yeah. You know we're going to like a Dan Marino bar. <laughs> and a gambling bar. I mean, you served me up a platter of a bunch of goodies I'm not supposed to have anymore. <laughs> yeah, playing into his addiction. So yeah. One being gambling and, and two, two being, being Dan Marino. That flamethrower of an arm that should have won a Super Bowl, but didn't. And so I shower him in respect and love at every given opportunity. And soft, breezy afternoons at Whispering Pines. <laughs> Pines. Just whispering to me. Birdie after birdie. Cigar after cigar. Me and Dan. Me on his lap. He lets me drive. His golden retriever, Daisy Duke, in the passenger seat. <laughs> Daisy Duke. <laughs> yeah, he puts little jean shorts on her. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> it is fucking cute. Thank you. And he cuts a hole in the shorts for the tail. Yes. Oh, well, that kind of answers my question. I was going to say the age old question of how is the dog wearing the jean shorts? Is it the bottom half <laughs> like this or is it the yeah. back half? It's the back half. <laughs> back half. That makes sense. I think that's how the that's how dogs should wear shorts. You wear shorts to cover your genitals. Why would a dog wear it any different? Well, it would cover its genitals either way because yeah. it has four legs. So it's like, do you want four holes for the four legs? Yeah. And then have like half of the body have like a big belt around it with the whatever. Yeah. Or it's like on just the back half as if you're imagining the dog form is somewhat like the human form but where the back half is the back legs yeah. and the front legs are like arms. Yeah, I guess I do kind of like to imagine it like that. Yeah. What do you give this? Six. 
Four. All right, you're climbing up. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Four. All right, Jana. My girl said her mouth hurt after eating a frozen treat. <laughs> Call her sorbet. <laughs> okay. I love this one. Yeah, this is nice. I mean, it is just kind of a one for one. Yep. And it is the big first sentence yep. to get to the one word. But Lil Wayne would say this. Yeah. And I like that you like, I don't know, you made me feel like you were about to say something nasty. You know what I mean? And then you didn't. It was just a playful ice cream pun. It's not ice cream. It's sorbet. Understood. <laughs> it's a French alternative to ice cream that is more of a fruit puree. It doesn't have dairy in it. Understood. So calling it ice cream yeah. kind of defeats the purpose of most of the people that use it as an alternative to the aforementioned treat you just said ice cream. So it's ice fruit. Yeah, that's fine. But yeah. just don't call it ice cream. Sure, that's my bad. You can put it in a cone and it's still not ice cream. But if you sorbet. put sprinkles on it. Don't put sprinkles on sorbet. Oh, really? And they're called Jimmy's. No, they're not. <laughs> don't don't even open up this can of worms. I'm I from will, Philly. I will beat your ass if you try and say you're from Philly again. We're Ano trying to claim Philly. Another good alternative <laughs> is water ice. You're from Sylvania, Ohio, fam. I'm from Philly. Mike Schmidt, Big Bat Ryan Howard. Oh my God, this this is guys. This has been going on a long time off camera. And Patty's Pub. Oh, that's not I've a, been there. They shot most of that in L.A. Philly cheesesteak. That's a re that's a thing. I, guess. I eat those. They uh -huh. sell them everywhere, right? Wow. Yep. I love Wawa. It's a regional gas station, I guess. It's more than a gas station. It's okay. a delicatessen with everything you could possibly want. You're not from Philly. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, this one's going to get a seven from me. Yeah, it's a solid three for me. <laughs> Thank you, Jonna. All right, this one's from Rice. Don't trust these hoes because hoes backwards is CO and that makes no sense just like these hoes. Whoa. <laughs> okay, this one's a thinker. Yeah. <laughs> this one's a to, thinker. Who do yeah. you imagine saying this? I can really only imagine our comment section saying stuff like this. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. <laughs> they really are a different type of person. Yeah, is that our fault? It's not our fault, but it is our responsibility. Really? Yeah. I do think we've created a subculture based on almost an accelerator rated version of our personalities. <laughs> Little things we do, they push to the limits because they are hiding behind a screen. So they'll say stuff like this. I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say stuff like that in public. Well, I just had to read it, so I guess I did say it, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish I didn't like stuff like this, but I, I do. Yeah. And uh, I'll give it, I'll give it a six. Two? No wordplay. Uh, I guess you are playing with the word by flipping it back. Yeah, I'll bump it up to a three. Okay, three. All right, this one's from Tristan. Tristan says, my words are sharp. They cut you like a cleaver. So dedicated to my work, I give my girl a two weeks notice before I leave her. Oh. Okay. I like the idea of a two week notice in a relationship. Yeah, that's funny. I don't like the self prophecy of my words are so sharp. They cut like a cleaver. That's like a tired rap formula kind of thing. Yeah. It's like you threw in a filler bar that we've heard a million times just to make it <clears throat> rhyme. Yeah. And there were other options that you could have done there that might have like played into the whole thing. You could have used believer. Or lever. I know I, I prefer to say lever, but people will say lever. Pull the lever. At home, watch an old TV, leave, leave it, it to, to beaver. Call in sick to work, is my girl hot like a fever? See? Perfect. And then that sets up. So dedicated to, well, then you aren't dedicated to your work. So you called him sick. Never mind. Huh? Maybe it's this huh? whole rapping game's a little tougher. Yeah. Than we imagined it. Hooking up with a thick girl. Huh? That's a wide receiver. <laughs> <laughs> So dedicated to my work, I give my girl a two weeks notice before I leave her. And <laughs> let me just clear things up. Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> Got a couple questions. Yeah. She is a receiver of penis. <laughs> Your penis. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Which is coincidentally shaped like a football, but we'll talk about that later. And she is uh, thick. Yeah. So she's a wide Got receiver. It. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Like it? No. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you should Bummer. be spouting off that kind of stuff. <laughs> Essentially, we're saying out with that first bar. Second one, I do like. That premise is funny to me. I like it a lot. So much, I'm going to give this a four. Wow. Yeah. This gets a 7.5 from me because honestly, it would get like an eight or a nine if it were the version that I did. <laughs> that is a crazy thing to say. <laughs> There's a reason that we're sitting here judging the bars. Let's not pretend like there's not. Yeah, it's because my dad owns this office building. Well, not for long. I have to buy it from under him. Do you know how much he wants for this place? Yeah, like two mil. He told me 5K and a six pack of Miller Lite. He's down kind of bad right now. Yeah, I mean, I can't turn down a deal like that. I just got to find $4,000 somewhere. You know what? You just got to find $3,750. No fucking way. <laughs> Sign me up as a business. Holy player. shit. I got 250 bucks <laughs> stashed in a box somewhere. I just got to remember where it's at. I only have 750 then. 
Wait, what? I found a box with $250 in it yesterday. So. <laughs> really? You yeah, found my box? Yeah. yeah. So oh. looks like we still need 4000 though. And honestly, finders keepers, so it's kind of my 250 so you're kind of cut out of the deal. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sorry. It's really backfired. I fucking hate my dad anyway, so. All right, next we've got from Alex. My pastor said the Bible's lit. Call that neon genesis. You're going to have to catch me up to speed here. Okay, well, Bible's lit, neon genesis. Genesis is the first book of the Bible, uh -huh. and neon is neon lights. So it's lit. Got it. And Neon Genesis, I believe, is an anime, which I know nothing about. And the Bible... And the Bible's kind of the manga. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. That actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, and being a manga, it is lit itself. Like, it is literature. I think this is the first one that it, like, everything ties together. Yes. And it's got a double entendre. And so, for that reason, I'm also going to give it a 7.5. 4.5 for me. Nice. That's pretty good. That's <laughs> the highest one yet, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Stop going to church, though. Next, from Polly, or Polly. See, I'd say Polly with two L's. Yeah, but I think they're, it's like a polyamory. It's been spelled this way. This is just one person, though. We don't know that. That's true. It could be sent in by a whole group. It is long. My bad. Got a girl with an ass you could take a bite out of. Told her your butt is neat. <laughs> Took her to my family barbecue, call that a meet and greet. <laughs> I really like it. Here's why I like it. Let me explain it. Sure. Maybe this will convince you. But slow cooked meat and the word neat. Those are the three pillars that this whole structure is standing on for me. Yeah. And those are three things I really like. It's just so clunky. <laughs> it's like a really clunky setup for all of this. I can't imagine this in a song at yeah. all. Not that it has to be. It can just be on its own, but it's like um, a poem. It's just another symptom of the type of comment section we have. That you can do all of this clunky shit to get to one little thing and also say your butt is neat during it. Yeah. So it's a nine for me. <laughs> So it's an easy nine. It's the imagery, it's the wordplay, it's the creativeness. The artistry on display here by Polly Polly. Um, yeah, uh, this is pretty much, pretty much my favorite <laughs> so far. I'm gonna give this a 4.5. Yeah, I'm gonna give it your style. A little low. Fine, I'll give it a five, it's a five. All right. This one's from A Kegs. Only yeah. kill ops in the winter, that's murder in the first degree. Does it be so cold that it's just one degree out? It's one degree out, yeah. yeah. I will say that saying that you only kill ops in the winter does make it premeditated, and that does make it a first degree murder. Wow, you correct, know? yeah. Mm -hmm. But there are better versions of this. I mean, I had one, you know? I had a uh, grad school is killing me. Call that second degree murder. Second degree grad school. Um, I think it's okay. I think like in the context of a song, it'd be a pretty good catchy little bar, but it's not like blowing me away on the screen right now. It's, you're also limiting yourself to a very tight window to kill people. Right. It's, it's got to be in that one. It's got to be one degree out. Yeah. Like, where do you live? Even in Detroit, it'll, like, it'll, we'll get like one day where you get a one degree. But I mean, you got to be in Wisconsin or ugh. Minnesota. Canada. Boston. Hell. Russia. Similar. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give this a six. I'm back on my bullshit. This is like a three. Next, we got Connor. Met a birdie at the pub. Driver back to swing my club that's a hole in one night hole in one night why did you you should have just said hole in one that would have also rhymed a yeah. little bit like because you could do pub club in one yeah that'd be great the, oh the <laughs> night is really bad here <laughs> met a birdie at the pub <laughs> driver back to swing my club now that's, that's a hole, hole in, in one, one night <laughs> <laughs> it's a hole in one night <laughs> then you got you need something before that's a hole in one to like stretch it out so it fits like something about a putter or a wood putter in her bum or something you know? <laughs> No. What's wrong with that? Putter in her bum? Yeah, what's wrong with that? I don't know. Some like, people are into that. It doesn't make sense, though. Oh, you were like, oh, physically putting the putter in her Yeah, like she's your bag of clubs or something. I don't know. You need something about a caddy or a fairway. Like, do her the fairway. She likes it rough. Yeah. She likes it rough. That's a hole in one. Oh, that would be the opposite of a hole in one, though. You can't get in the rough and then get a hole in one. I mean, you got the tea box, too. Tea box is good. There's because something box about is already a word oh, used yeah. for... Someone said I only got a handy that's cap. Like a handicap. Yeah, it's in, pretty good. In golf. Yeah. All these are better than that. It's a hole in one night. Sadly, one word here is going to basically disqualify you. I'm going to give this a two. <laughs> I'll give it a zero. Yeah, I'm back. It's a zero. <laughs> Next, we got CS. Could be CS Lewis. Not a <laughs> well, I mean, this one makes more sense. It's a writing game. C.S. Lewis is a famous writer. Pretty sure C.S. Lewis is dead. I'm going to go ahead and run with that. This is C.S. Lewis. So oh. C.S. Lewis says, set the pace of the hunt the way I be gathering. I'm a real baller like Benedict Matherin. 
Is this a soccer player? He's an NBA player. Benedict Matherin's an <laughs> I'm supposed to be the hoops guy? Yeah. You throwing out names like Benedict Matherin? Also, I got problems before we even get to this potentially real NBA player. <laughs> okay. How are you setting the pace of the hunt the way you be gathering? Hunting and gathering are, are they're juxtaposed. Well, they're in tandem. I guess, but like you gather bees and squirrels and stuff, and then you hunt like apples and squash. Yeah, but the collectively they're hunter gatherers. I mean, I get it. I mean, those words go together. Yeah. I didn't know who Benedict Matherin was, and I also don't know that it really connects other than rhyming. Right. And saying I'm a real baller. And then naming a basketball player. Who we aren't even sure is a real baller. Right. And then <laughs> that kind of redeems it a little bit. If you say you're a real baller, like blank, made up NBA player. That would be amazing. That's kind of funny. Who does he play for? The Bobcats? Yeah. Uh, the Indiana Pacers. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, no well, wonder why yeah. we haven't heard of him. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Who the fuck cares? <laughs> Surprise team this year, though. I didn't even know they were still a team, to yeah. be honest. I know Larry Bird <laughs> owns that organization, but I thought they had converted it into like a big Applebee's. Bro, he owned most organizations when he was on the seas. That's facts. Tough to beat. <laughs> you know he got locked up a few weeks ago? Really? Mm -hmm. For what? Stole a bunch of Celtics jerseys when he was on the road in Boston. So, free bird. If I leave here tomorrow. This one gets a one for me. Big zero for me. You know what? I don't think hell's below us. I think it's right next to heaven up there. Oh, they're both up? I think they're neighbors. It's like one of those condominium resorts. Oh, interesting. <laughs> one's just heaven, one's hell. So heaven and hell are both up there. Then what's below? Oh, uh, it's a Buckleberries. What's a Buckleberries? You never been to a Buckleberries? No, I've been to a Buckle, the store in the mall. No, it's like a turnpike restaurant chain. It's really fun for families. They electrocute you if you don't choose your food fast enough. <laughs> What? Buckleberries? <laughs> you never heard of this? I've never heard of They electrocute you if <laughs> you don't pick your food fast enough? It's fun. You take off your shoes like a sushi restaurant. Okay. And you put them in and they're slightly submerged in water. And sometimes a little fish will sneak up on you. What? But the water acts as a conductor for Dr. Buzz, who's up in the rafters. <laughs> and if you don't decide fast enough, he cranks down the lever and a lightning bolt shoots through the restaurant and scatters all across and it hits the water and electrocutes everyone who hasn't ordered their food yet. So you can only take your shoes out of the water once you've ordered? No, they pull the drain when you order. Oh, there's no so there's water. no water. Yeah. That's super creative. You keep your shoes off and it's a bit of a photo booth too. What do you mean it's a bit of a photo booth? <laughs> and when they bring you your check at the end, in sands of a tip, you can choose that the photographer comes out. He's a little guy. He takes a little photo of your feet and he sends it up to Dr. Buzz, who is very pleased with it. <laughs> Did you just say in sands of a tip? Yep. <laughs> okay. I think it's in lieu of a tip, but sands a tip. You can give okay, him a sure. foot photo. That's yeah. I'm getting from a little photographer. <laughs> lost in the weeds. Doctor so, Buzz likes feet at Buckleberry. So you don't have to tip if they take a picture of your feet, and Doctor Buzz likes it. <laughs> uh -huh. But does Doctor Buzz then redistribute these and sell the feet pick? No. No. Doctor Buzz doesn't have a social life. He's trapped in the rafters of Buckleberries all over the country. Used to be forty-four thousand of them. Forty-four thousand Buckleberries. That's yeah. so many. I've never Never heard of it. Yeah, I think there's only three left now. <laughs> oh, not a very successful business. They're all in Manhattan, Kansas. <laughs> wow. That's a real place. Okay. And so it's Buckleberries. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta check that place out, I guess. I uh, I don't know. If, if you didn't go when you were a child. Well, wait a minute. There's four then. Because one of them is like where you think hell would be. Right. Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. there's well, three in Manhattan, right. Kansas, and one down below in the great In the ether. great beneath. Yeah. Alex again. Or it's a different Alex. Probably. Alex. Different Alex? Okay, this is Alex too. Ancient Redwood calls you a slur. Call that a big o tree. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, so here's the, here's how here's how this one goes. Yeah. Is an ancient redwood would be a huge tree. <laughs> A big old tree. A big <laughs> old tree, yeah. You might even slap it on the side. There's a big old tree. Yeah, you're like, look at this thing. That's a big old tree. Yep. And then it calls you a slur. Yeah. Which I don't know how trees are talking, but I mean, this is what I would expect C.S. Lewis to send in. Yeah. But that happens, so then it's a big old tree. It's awesome. And I think the added layer here is that it's ancient. And old people do be racist. True. And that oh, could it's ancient, yeah. That could like, extend into the natural realm. Oh. So it's so old that it's just like <laughs> easy whitey or something. I don't know. I can't say a slur, obviously, so I can say whitey, but... It's stuck in its old ways. Yeah. You know, it doesn't get this new generation. It's really it stuck in its roots. I would just like to say that we don't stand for or condone any bigotry of any kind, but within the context of this bar, I do like your wordplay. I do like it. It's just... 
It's a little short. I think you could keep running with this racist plant thing. Oh, you want to like build it out into a whole garden. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a whole racist garden. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I personally think you could kind of get into the weeds with that. Shake my fucking hand. All right. I'll give it a seven. Seven for me as well. Yeah. Yeah. 7.5. Up to 6.5. Why do you keep balancing? <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Teddy, so much cheese they call me Big Parma. Next. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's think about this one. Let's think about it. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'll say that much. It's not too Where's bad. Where's the big pharma pun that is begging to be right. done here? Right. That's true. Uh, you could say I'm totally cheese pilled. Call me big pharma. <laughs> then you could say like made all my cheese off slinging pills. Call me big pharma. Ah, that's true. That's good. Made all this cheese off oxys. Call me big pharma. <laughs> Call me big pharma. Yeah, that is better. You're right. There's a lot of ways to improve this one. And for that reason, I'm going to give this one a 4.5 with big room for improvement. I'll go to 1.9. <laughs> Interesting, Larry. In yeah, <laughs> introducing some different decimals. <laughs> it's the Dewey Decimal System. It's not. I do, we will, and we did. <laughs> Left a 0.5 of Coke out in the lawn overnight. Call that Dewey Decimal. I dropped a bag in the toilet one time. Really? Yeah, I pulled it out. Was it fine? It was a little wet. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> it's not good for you. Was it good for you, though? <laughs> no, it was awesome. I had a great night, yeah, as far as I remember. <laughs> what <in the> fuck? <laughs> Why'd that hand need to be there? Huh? What was this one? I was doing? steadying your <laughs> steady. I was steadying your face to make sure I could get the hair. I'm about to steady. I didn't want you to move. Put my fist in your mouth. <laughs> Last one. This one from Kai. Oh God. Oh, here we go. Y'all in the hive mind chat spit bars. I swallow them. I just got an instant gram because my plug said to follow him. Save the best for last. That's gas. This is gas. Uh, okay, let's break it down. Uh-huh. All right. Y'all in the hive mind chat spit bars. That's the that's this game. You're right. That's what happened. There's a chat on Discord for mm -hmm. these. So if you'd like to submit for the next one, there's a chat that you can access on our Discord, mm -hmm. which is linked in description. I swallow them. So that's showing that Kai is not a spitter and therefore not a quitter. Yes, and also in the same time suggesting that while y'all are spitting bars, Kai is kind of eating them. Well, Kai is kind of swallowing bars, also a double entendre for Xanax. Yes. Y'all spit bars. I swallow them. Yeah, I'm getting high. I just got an instant gram. So Instagram mm -hmm. is the is the pun here, but also instantly <laughs> got a gram Bing! of drugs. Yeah. Because my plug said to follow him. So like you hit a lick. Well, no, I think it's more so that the plug is internet savvy and uh -huh. understands social capital. Uh -huh. So <laughs> giving up a gram to somebody said, hey, I'll give you a free gram if you follow me on there. It's well, a marketing scheme. It's a mar it's like, hey, eventually I'll grow a big following and those are potential customers. Right. It's a great way to think as a drug dealer. Because if you follow your plug on Instagram and they've got like 800 followers, you're like, okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. You follow your plug and they've got 20K followers, you're going to be like, this guy's legit. And he yeah. could maybe help me in other social ways. Right. And then maybe we should be buddies and then maybe I can kind of ride his coattails. Maybe. Who, who knows? Yeah, Whoever takes know. off first at that point. Right. So, um, yeah, this one gets a, this one gets a straight nine for me. This is like, a straight 10 ball for me. Yeah, I mean, this is like, you've actually got a lot of entendres in here. Mm -hmm. This is really good writing. I didn't think we were going to get one that really no, I was did it all the way. I was down in the dumps there for a while. Mm -hmm. I was doubting y'all, but Kai came through and saved your asses. Kai, definitely the winner of this one. So thank you, Kai. Thank, thank you, you to Kai. everybody who submitted the bars. I do, I want, I'm, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be like this, but step it up a little bit. Yeah. I want to see some real spitters. <laughs> One-liners, puns, jokes, double, triple, quadruple on time. I think the best case scenario for y'all uh -huh. is that we get submissions that go over our head and then y'all get to have an inside joke on the outside. Oh, they're so stupid. Right, right, right. I slipped this by them. They're not even here for like the bigger picture. They're not expanding. So that's what I want. I'm begging you to try and trick us. Yes. So, such a subversive pun. He's shaking. He's trembling. Such a deeply subversive <clears throat> wordplay that it just goes right by us. That's what I want. Right. So join our Patreon. Join our Discord if you'd like to submit bars for the next one. Thanks to everybody who submitted them. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that stuff I did not say at the beginning. And Graydon, would you like to leave as one for people some advice to leave or live their lives by? All good things are wild and free. All right, this has been High Mind Unlimited. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>
I don't like this game. Really? Mm -mm.